pig? Piggers? <laughs> no. Oh. Big old horse and horse, big old draft horse and horse. The bear wearing overalls? With his hands down his pants? Excuse me, sir. Can't take him anywhere. Nasty. Lady gnome. Baby bear. Who? 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 Hey, Deadwood. It's a dragon. Oh, it's a dragon on wheels. It's a motorcycle. It's a motor dragon? Daywoo. Daywoo. If you've ever been wanting to have a uh, real close encounter beef jerky experience, I found just the place for you here in Daywoo. Best home of in town. Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations. You, congratulations, Nugget, you did it. I knew I was gonna find this shirt. There it is. The bigger a man's gun, the smaller his doodle wick. So saith Calamity Jane. Or that could also be said of his truck. Can you let me go to hell the way I want to? That's what I'm saying. See in your lane, Becky. Just walking in day room. Mm -hmm. So nice out. Uh... It could be worse. It could nice. be a hell of a lot better. Sick boy motorcycles. $24,000. That green machine can be yours. They may even throw in one of them models with their $5 shake and go wig. Wow, Bill Barr. Okay, so a little FYI about the Wild Bill Barr here. The Wild Bill Barr. Where this place is now is the original location of the number 10 saloon, which was the number 10 parcel of land here in Deadwood. And there is a marker out front that lets you know that this is the historic site where Wild Bill was shot dead August 6th, 1876, again in the game of poker, shot by Jack McCall. Uh, legend says that the reason Jack McCall shot Wild Bill was because Wild Bill had cleaned his clock, much like my clock got squeaky clean last night at the casino in a game of poker. And um, Wild Bill threw him a couple bucks after he took all his money so he could get something to eat. So Jack McCall could get something to eat. Jack took great offense to this. And the very next day, came upon Bill, who happened to be, uh, had taken the last remaining seat at the poker table, but didn't allow him to have his face toward the door. So instead he had his back toward the door. Jack walked up to him, put a gun to the back of his head, pulled the trigger and shouted, take that damn you. And well, the rest is history. There is the Bullock Hotel. That was the original site of Seth Bullock and Salt Stars hardwood store. When the fire ravaged Deadwood back in the late 1800s, uh, Seth decided to rebuild, but this time, instead of building from wood, he built from brick and stone, as you can see, and decided to open up a hotel. You see there at the top, it says Ayers Block 1895, and it is a still ho a hotel today. And rumor has it that Sheriff Bullock's ghost still haunts these rooms and there was even an episode of the dead files on the travel channel and you want to check that out kind of neat if you're into that sort of stuff here is mustang sally's an old filling station it kind of looks like that's been converted into a restaurant slash bar slash it's a very small casino it's the stockade An old dude here, more chainsaw art. Kind of cool, kind of cute, kind of cute. I'm sure in the summertime, this place is hopping. But if you want to come here and not uh, have a lot of folks around, wintertime is the time to do it. Of course, you're taking a gamble. We lucked up last year this time. I think they had a blizzard of 12, 14 inches of snow. This year, it's a little bit of snow. Otherwise, it's beautiful. 
beautiful here. Yes, cold, but beautiful. Hey, it's Deadwood's finest ale house. Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! You did it! 1891. Guess what I said? 1981? 1891? Yeah, same thing. Same thing. And right up here, there's another historical marker that says site of capture of the assassin Jack McCall, who shot Wild Bill Hickok August 2nd, 1876. That's not my machine. There's the gold dust and the sucker wheel, the big six. They're all sucker wheels, I, mean, I can't even lie to you guys. Now Mavericks here has a Friday night special, six ounce sirloin for $9.95, Fridays, 4 p.m. to close. Now up here on the right is the uh, Franklin Hotel. The traveling salesman Harrison Franklin established a liquor business right here on Main Street in 1877. He eventually amassed a fortune through banking and ranching and mining. And in 1902, construction of the Franklin Hotel began. And the grand opening was held June 4th, 1903 and included a banquet for 250 guests. Now everyone marveled at the hotel's modern luxuries, which included a lobby fountain, a cigar store, a newsstand, a barber shop, a buffet, a restaurant, Two private parlors for ladies, a masseuse, steam heat system, elevator, electric lights, and telephone service in every room. So we're gonna walk in. Not sure if they'll let us film here. We might have to be covert about this, but we'll try to get some footage. There's a tent ceiling. who I'm sure Mr. Franklin would have never ever in a million years thought his hotel and casino, I mean his hotel and casino, his lovely appointed hotel would be littered with big ug ugly slot machines. But yet, here it is. <laughs> and it is, it was nicely redone. The chandeliers and the ceiling, all very nice. Very nice indeed. Here's the cashier's cage. Here's a bar. Pretty. Very pretty. So now we're gonna cross the street and take you back down the other way. Oh, FYI, the bricks were put in on the street in 1903, about the same time uh, Mr. Franklin's son, the one that built that hotel that we just walked through, got his Model F Cadillac, the first automobile in Deadwood. It's called Outlaw Square. And they have live entertainment, all sorts of things going on here. But right now, this time of year, they have an ice rink. Good place to sit and watch live bands during the summer is right over here, this outdoor uh, bar area. Really cool. There's Hickok's Hotel and Suites. Now do yourself a favor and go to Hickok's Hotel and Suites webpage and look at some of the rooms. They're the most, some of the strangest looking hotel rooms, specifically the suites. Be sure to look at the suites. It's, uh, they're interesting. <laughs> they're just interesting. If you go and check them out, come back and leave a comment down below on uh, what you think about what you saw. There is uh, Deadwood's first Orange Julius. <laughs> Uh, first page from Wild Bill Hickok. I don't know, that's, that's probably a lie. I'm gonna think that's a safe bet to say that that's all. I mean, we're from Georgia. Maybe a hill's not a big deal to you where you come from, <laughs> but we don't get that kind of stuff in Atlanta.
So, I mean, every little place really here has at least, you know, a good handful of slot machines. I mean, <laughs> believe you me, four hours last night for me, the old uh, Tim Lizzie made $1,600. So, yeah, you can, you can pump drinks, you can have $9 um, steaks and all that stuff when you're butt raping people at the slot machines. So, today, they call this the old style saloon number 10, but again, not actually true. The real saloon number 10, where Wild Bill met his demise, is now called the um, Wild Bill Bar. But there is a lot of really cool memorabilia inside the old style saloon number 10 here. Uh, unfortunately, I just saw on the sign that they are closed Thanksgiving Day, and that is today, damn it. That the rules and regs here, uh, pandemic wise, yes, they urge you to socially distance. Yes, you can wear a mask if you damn well please. Uh, but if you damn well don't please, there's no mandate here in Deadwood that says you have to. Uh, right now, you can see we are just about the only folks out on the street. So we don't really feel it's necessary to mask up. Um, but when we're inside around people, we do. There is again the Bullet Hotel. Again, haunted. Haunted by the ghost of Seth Bullock. So if you want to come on down, I understand uh, rooms 314 and 313 have the highest amount of paranormal activity. Mr. Bullock, so let's walk in and see what's going on. See if we can spot Seth Bullock. Spooky dookie already. Thomas. There's Captain Seth Bullock and his Cowboys, Washington, D.C., March 4th, 1905. Practice social distancing. If you're not in the same party, keep six feet between you and every damn body else, please and thank you. Don't be nasty. Bullies is a uh, bar and restaurant. You can see Bullies Breakfast is Wednesday through Friday, 7 to 10, Saturday and Sunday, 7 to noon. And they are closed today on Thanksgiving Day. But from what I understand, that is the original fireplace, that tiled fireplace there. And also, P.S., for my gamblers out there, you can tell by some of these titles that this is where slot machines come to die. P.S., if you are watching this and you are a gambler, what are some other gaming destinations that aren't Vegas, that aren't Atlantic City, that aren't, uh, where else, honey? Tahoe. Places kind of like this, like Deadwood. Clue me in, because we want to go, damn it. Okay, so this celebrity hotel is like the others, right? Kind of old, kind of full of old slot machines now, but they have other stuff in here too. There's a lot of, look, I didn't, the shot through the window gave it away. They have a lot of memorabilia here. First being a damn Elvis jumpsuit. Hey, Elvis, hey. Here, look, there's the outfit that Arnold Schwarzenegger wore in Terminator D. They got a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger stuff here. There's a shirt from True Lies. The menu and dinner plate from the movie Titanic, not the actual real Titanic. A sword <laughs> used in the Pirates of the Caribbean. A shirt worn by Gene Hackman in The Unforgiven. A wand in the movie Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. There you go. Thank you, nerd boy, because I don't know F all about Harry Potter. Gun used by Clint Eastwood himself in Dirty Harry. Shirts worn in the Poseidon Adventure. Conan the Barbarian prop dagger. Again, what's with the Arnold Schwarzenegger fetish? Body armor worn in Stormship, Stormship, Starship Troopers. Have another drink. A tunic worn in Ben-Hur. Her, a jumpsuit and hard hat worn in Jurassic Park. Aw, it's Max's horn from the Grinch. Four Scum's army uniform. When are you playing ping pong? Aw, from the movie Hook. A prop license plate from the Dukes of Hazard. Now, fun fact, Dukes of Hazard is with the first season was filmed in the little town where we live 
of Covington, Georgia. It was filmed uh, partially there and partially in Madonna, Georgia, which is going to have this little town over. So, not bad to build a pizza desert. A prison uniform from Shawshank Redemptions, one of the best movies of all time. And if you ever turn on the TV, specifically TBS, any time of the day, any given day of the year, you've probably seen Shawshank. It's constantly on. Silks from Seabiscuit. A leisure suit from Hawaii Five-O. You could leisure about. Hey, honey, it's Al Swearingen's pinstripe suit from the HBO series Deadwood. That's awesome. Oh, Al, corksucker, who's still? Yeah, Evil Knievel's 1984 heavy bike. And if you know what movie that reference is from, this is heavy bike, sir. Comment down below. And there's a pink suede top worn by Miss Polly Darton herself. Where did boobies fit and all that little tiny piece of slip of fabric? That's a lie. Something you'll come to learn about me is two things. I drink and I think that I know things, especially if I've been drinking. All right, so that was the Celebrity Hotel. Really, again, cool with the, with the 10 ceilings and the big period uh, kind of chandeliers and overall Wild West vibe. Come check it out. And there is the gym where we had breakfast this morning. If you didn't watch that video yet, highly recommend you go check it out. If you're in for some, if you're interested in some cheap, voluminous eats here in Deadwood, we highly recommend the gym. Mineral Palace, another hotel casino, actually sits on the site of the original gym theater. And the gym theater was started by Al Swearingen, who uh, was rather notorious. I employed ladies of the night to work upstairs, which I guess there were ladies at a, any damn time back then. So this kind of brings us back to where we started here. I know it's kind of been of a long video, but we're gonna give you a walking tour of up one side Main Street and down the other, honey. Us. Beautiful place. It we really, recommend it. Yeah, it really is. And I can really imagine that during the summer, this place is hopping. There's live music, there's stuff going on, there's the Days of 76 parade, there's all sorts of things. So we're really looking forward to coming back here and uh, checking out Deadwood and more. In Perhaps if you're making the pilgrimage to Sturgis, stop through here Absolutely. on your way. And they do. Out and back. <laughs> By so. the tens of thousands. Yeah, if you're, or you're, you're in Rushmore, or you're going to see Crazy Horse. Yep. You're not that far from Deadwood. You're like an hour uh, from Deadwood. So highly recommend taking the time. It's like taking the, a walk back in time. Yep, making the drive and come experience a little tiny place with a huge fascinating history.